Hey, welcome back to Outdoors America, Ice Fishing Edition. We are on episode five and it is finally starting to feel like winter in Minnesota. Last night, the Chiefs beat the Dolphins in one of the coldest NFL playoff games in history. And we're about 600 miles north of that yet, so you can imagine what our temps feel like around here. But last week and the week before that, in filming for this show, we didn't have anything like that. Most of the lakes in central Minnesota were still wide open. And because of that, well, we headed back to northern Minnesota. And I can't say it disappointed. It turned out to be pretty epic. Let's check it out. Well, we are finally back after it, after a long Christmas, New Year's Eve break, or New Year's Day break. Um, but central Minnesota still has zero ice. The lakes are pretty much wide open, a little skim on a few of them, but nothing we're gonna fish on. So we are back up north and we're gonna head out and well, it's starting to look a little more like winter. So we're gonna head out and actually uh, make it feel like we're supposed to be out here today. So let's head to it. Well, we are all set up. Didn't get uh, <laughs> any video of the setup because it's cold out. My battery went dead almost instantly. So we got them on the heater and uh, we're gonna get the spearing. But this is a lake that you don't really see a lot of fish, but when you do, you have the potential for a really big one. So that's why we're out here today. We just got up here and hey, we're excited. We can sit, we can sit a little while and, and not see anything and be okay. If uh, the, the next few days we might go to a lake that have a few more fish in and keep our keep our interest a little longer. So let's get in here and take a look at this one. I have good signal up here. Oh, that's good. That's the third northern I've seen already in like 20 minutes. He's on the outside of the hole. Okay. Oh, there's a big one. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh. There. That's what we were looking for. That'll definitely work. Nice fish. Nice fish. He made a mess in the hole for sure. So days one, two didn't go exactly as planned. Um, so we made a big change for day three and went to one of our old favorite lakes and it worked out pretty well. Well, this is day three already and the last two days have not gone all that great. Um, very few fish sightings, nothing, uh, nothing of any size really at all. A um, couple, couple okay fish. So we decided to take a little drive this morning and went to a different lake. Well, we got down the road and it started raining. It's warmer today. It's actually 26, but it's raining and the roads are glare ice. So probably wasn't the brightest idea, but we took our time, got out here. This is one of my old favorite lakes. Uh, it's a pretty big lake in in uh, northern Minnesota, so we've uh, we've had great success here in the past. It's gone downhill since then, but we're gonna give it a shot anyways. And what the heck, we haven't been here in a few years, so we'll give it a shot. Well, we haven't been out here but a half an hour, and my dad called and said he's already got his two northerns, so. And a funny story that goes with one of them. So we're gonna run up and talk to him quick and probably uh, steal the house from him because it sounds like he's still seeing 
seeing several fish too besides besides the two he did spear so we'll go run up there it is icy rainy mess out here the windshield on the ranger is already a mess so we'll take our time getting up there and and uh, see what he's got let's go well dad it doesn't look like you wasted much time <laughs> you, you had you had your two and we weren't here a half an hour and he had his two speared ready so yeah. but uh it looks like an absolute muddy mess out here what happened well it's called the mud monster <laughs> i mean that's what that one the fish is so so g g give us the lowdown on why this fish is covered with mud well i speared him and he got off and he went straight down in and look at if you see his head it was covered in mud all the way up to here that's how deep he was in the mud he went straight down in and i could see his tail flipping around so then I speared him one more time back here and pulled him out that way and when he came out it was just a big glob like he bit the mud and everything and it come up as one big glob of mud and then oh there is a fish with that so anyway <laughs> that's my story the other, the other one came in right after that so it was not, not a big deal and it he just swam right up to it so so you actually speared that first fish your mud monster twice right so he was stuck he was stuck in the mud uh, yep that's the first time i've ever speared one twice with the same spear oh. yeah so anyway well, that's, that's, it was the first for me put it that way that's a pretty good story but uh yeah you made a hell of a mess out here for sure <laughs> like the look of that yeah look at here yeah here's where right there and he spit that there all out <laughs> okay there's wow a, he had a whole yeah. mouthful of mud. That was about a 10-pounder that turned into a 5-pounder. Right, yeah, just like that. All right, let's get inside. So I came down to sit where my dad was sitting because he's had a lot of action down here, and I haven't seen anything yet down there, really. So we're going to give it a try here. Oh, there's one. Look at that guy. We're going to schmuck a telly him, so we've got one. certainly didn't take very long. We're running in there a minute. And that guy came in. And now we only need one as well. So, we'll get back to it and hopefully we can get back to the cabin before, well, before dark. Because these roads are going to be icy. But, hey, that was a pretty fast start there. So, maybe we can get one more really quick. Let's try. Well, there went the big one. Come on, come back here, fish. That guy came into my... That fish came into my waxworm, people. Come on. Oh, here he comes back. Here he comes back. Oh, and there he goes again. Come on. And now he's going around this side. Now he's gonna come in. Now he's gonna get it. Oh, got him, but not very good. He was going out the hole. Stay on there, you bugger. Stay on, oh no, he's up under the ice. And there he is, that's a good one. Jeez, that's a good one. Look at that one, Pete. Oh no. That happened pretty quick. We were in here five minutes. And got the first one and then got this one, so. Um, yeah, we're done. My dad's done. Scotty's done. Kean's the only one that uh, needs a fish yet, so he's gonna try this beer, and we're gonna pick up the rest of the stuff. So we'll uh, we'll head back to the cabin, fry these up, and maybe give it a shot tomorrow. <laughs> well, Scotty already speared his too, so 
we're gonna go jump in his house sit with him he's seeing fish left and right so we're gonna go jump in his house and see if we can't spear ours as well so let's head well scotty that didn't take you very long geez we were here what half an hour you got two dandy fish already yeah, dandy he's, he's yeah he's coming in quite nice yeah very nice fish heck yeah so yeah we're gonna jump in with scotty since he's already got his two two really nice ones and see if we can't get two so let's go yeah, oh there's one right there ready <laughs> <laughs> i will let that one pass but that didn't take long what five seconds yeah, about 20 20 yeah five seconds that's about all it took yeah so we've literally been sitting in scotty's house for five seconds and there's a fish already so we'll let that one swim by scotty's got supper for us already so we can be a little selective now but cool to see let's see if we can give a poke here no he doesn't care oh that got him moving I think and, he's swinging around. yep there he comes back nope now he's gonna take a bite of it you got all sorts of action over here scott trouble yeah it seemed to pick a nice wall for a change yeah and there's that's a different one ain't it see this guy yep so that's two now two in less than a minute and there's two in the hole now here comes another one to this decoy i'd say you got the hot spot trouble yeah i'd say they're uh that one there is a little smaller yeah the one that went out i think that one was that, probably that, that one was a little bigger yeah that was probably spearable but yeah that was probably a 30 incher i would say you got the hot spot here trouble yeah it's uh, all those years of knowledge of going on the lake that, <laughs> There's one coming in, Trummel. Yes, it looks like a decent size. Yeah, let's take that one. Oh, oh my pail. Like, Did you hear that? <laughs> my pail was stuck to my... My pail was stuck to my butt. <laughs> and uh, I guess it's got some ice on it. And when I leaned over to try to spear that fish, the pail fell and the fish took off, so. We'll try to get him back in here, though. There oh, he is. there he is. Oh, that's a nice big one. one. Here. That is a dandy. <sighs> that's a big one. And he's thrashing in the weeds. Okay, you ready, Scotty? I'll try to pull him up here. Yeah, let's see if we can move some stuff here so that we can actually see him. Yeah. Oh, he's in the mud. That's a good one. I better give him another dandy. poke. That's a good one. Wow. Wow. So my dad had a mud monster yesterday, and I got a mud monster today. Look at that. <laughs> good Lord, he went down into the mud. We'll have to see the hole when we go back in, but he, he made an absolute mess. But that, there we go. That's a, that's a 34, thing. 35. Yeah. yeah, that's probably a close to, what, 11, 12 pounds, I suppose, huh? Tape him. Let's get a tape on him. Yeah, let's do that. But there's a fish. He, his mouth is so full of mud. Look at that. But, yeah, that's a dang nice fish. That's got to be yeah, close to a 34-incher, I suppose. Yeah. Nice nice 11 12 yeah pounder. put them up next to uh put them right next to uh 32. yeah so this is a 32 incher here and yeah we've got them by about four inches i'd say yeah. maybe it might well, not quite but we'll get a tape on them but that's a yeah that's a good fish too so yeah we've got an absolute mess now but uh hey we got one well we've got three good fish on the ice now so we got one more to get. Uh, Kean's over spearing uh, the shack across the way here. Yeah, he's got one on the ice, so we got one more, and we're headed home. So, but some dandy fish are showing up. What a fun morning this has been. I'm glad we came out. Okay, let's see how long he is. Shrimmel's got it at the top. Hey, it goes 35, 35 inches. Yeah, yeah, I would say that's that's close to close to 12 pounds. Dang nice fish. We're, we're gonna get him back here. Okay. Give, give him a spin. Here, oh, he comes. here he comes. Here he comes. Watch that camera. Oh, there we he go. headshot him. Uh oh. Uh, that might be tough to get out. Might be really tough. 
Okay. Get that out of the way, otherwise you're gonna lose it. Let's move it this way. Mm -hmm. Is that the right way? Nope. Okay. Now that we got that disaster out of there. Oh, he's still shaking. It looked like a headshot, so we we're gonna have to see what this looks like. Alright. He's gonna make a mess coming up for sure. Oh, he's all the way. He's all the way through. Now that's a shot right there. There we go. And there's my second. Wow. That... Look, look where that center tine is. Yeah. That's take how you look at that. That's how you want to spear him. And take a look at the inside of his mouth right where it is. Looks like he's got an earring or a stud. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that is a uh... That is where you want to put them, but normally it uh, normally they're not moving around like this. So, well, there we go. That's another dandy fish. He's skinny, really skinny. Yeah, yeah. But uh, heck, we'll take that. That's another probably what 32 inches, Scotty. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty darn gone close. So, let's uh, throw them right next to the other ones and get a kind of a yeah. view of all of them sitting here while they're they're yeah, not. He's just skinny. Yeah, he's long. Wow, long but skinny. All right. But compared to these two, that's a couple, of, that's a couple of dandy fish right there. Wow, those are four dandy fish, dandy fish, huh? Well, we are done. That's our, uh, that's our fish for this episode. We're gonna pack up. We're gonna head south, and uh, we'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. Well, we have one fish left to get. Kian needs one fish, so we thought we better get him over to Scotty's house because they're running here big time. So Kian's in the driver's seat now, and uh, it shouldn't take too long, but let's see what happens. Hold on a second. Kian, there's a good one. You get him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's smoking jelly him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> he's he's wild yet. He's wild. Yeah, he ain't terrible. Well, that didn't take long, did it, Kian? No, no, it didn't. It's kind of nice. <laughs> Seeing fish. Oh, that's a nice fish too. Yeah, he ain't bad. Wow. Huh. So we've had pretty much an epic day out here. I mean, there's not too many times you can go out and we saw, I bet you between, well, just in just in Scotty's house here, I bet you we saw 25 Northerns in the last hour and a half. It's unbelievable. They are moving pretty good. And uh, well, the nice thing is we don't have anybody around us for miles and miles. So we might have to come back up here and, and uh, check it out again sometime. But. This is going to be a wrap for this episode, and hey, we'll see you next episode. Well, what a great trip that ended up being to northern Minnesota. Hey, I had my dad with, a couple good buddies, and we saw a ton of fish. Uh, first couple days were kind of slow, but made up for it in the last two, and what more can you ask for? It's not every day, or even two out of four days like we had, that you see that many fish. And so what do you do? You just got to appreciate it. And that's what we did, and we're going to get back out this week and get after it again and I hope you guys do the same. We're finally we're finally on the ice up here in the in the North Country. So get out there, have fun with it, and we'll see y'all next episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs>